Phillips with the Act News Reporter, and welcome to Comic Con 2013 in beautiful San Diego, California. Comic Con first started in 1970 simply to showcase uh, comic books, and look at it today. Over 130,000 attendees expected to check out everything from upcoming movies to the, the costume contest to independent films. Why don't we go see what we can find? <laughs> okay, here we are with a very sparkly man. Why don't you tell us exactly what you are? Uh... Just a fabulous unicorn. <laughs> oh, a fabulous unicorn. What was the inspiration behind this uh, costume? Just wanted to do something different, uh, unique, and it, it uh, reflected me. <laughs> it reflected you. It's very reflective. It, it is definitely great. How long did it take you to make this costume? This is detail. This is amazing. Thank you. It took about it took around four months, maybe two or three hours a day. Um, do you come regularly every year to Comic Con? Yes, I do. How, what, what's this year anniversary? Oh. Um, uh, I've been coming since uh, '85. '85. I'm here with Jeff Balky, who is a colorist. Can you tell us what a colorist is exactly? We are the guys that make it look good. We make the prints look good. We make the, the pages look good. We're, we put the attitude and the oomph in all the pages. Hey, I'm here with Agnes Garbalska. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your work here? Um, hi, guys. I do very cute and all-age projects. Currently, I am an artist for one of the micro series for My Little Pony. And I do a lot of covers for My Little Pony as well. And then lots of cutesy art and web comics of my own. This guy is very popular. I'm here with Jerry. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you have going on here? Well, I'm, I'm with a company that sells costumes, our, but uh, our costumes are high quality leather garb, so it, it, it's they're designed to be worn like clothing. Uh, we like coming to Comic Con here because uh, we there's a high concentration of people who like the kind of things that we make. Well, my uh, my name is Greg Peltz, uh, and these are little uh, model kits that I make and design and uh, produce out of my home in San Francisco. And I uh, design them in the computer, cut them on a laser, and they're just uh, these little models that you slide together. Uh, I don't need any glue or any kind of special tools to put them together. And then just the goal is to make something that looks like the real thing but you know in a little puzzle that you can assemble yourself basically. is everything made of bones so it's bones so yeah they, they're meant to look like bones but they're actually made out of plastics hey i'm here with bill with wacom and first of all why don't you tell us uh, what exactly that is well christy what we do is we actually do graphic tablets drawing with a pen on the computer instead of a mouse so and it basically gives the artist the capability of being able to go back and draw digitally now and so that way they're actually doing digital work instead of you're drawing with a pen instead of trying to draw with a mouse or drawing on paper, transferring to the computer, cleaning it up, and, and printing it out. So we eliminated a lot of steps that way. All right, I am here uh, with Lee at Cinema Makeup School. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do and what's going on here behind us? Sure, well, we're a school in Los Angeles. Uh, we teach makeup which includes everything from high fashion to hair to body painting to creature work and special effects makeup as well as sculpting and concept design for, for characters and creatures. Have you been planning this for a long time with your costume? Yes. What's your favorite thing about Comic-Con here today? Um, I like dressing up and seeing cool stuff. You give us your names and what you're dressed as today. Uh, my name is Cole. I'm dressed as Sailor Moon or Serena. My name's Raven, and I'm dressed as a bubblehead nurse from Silent Hill. And uh, what was your motivation in the in, in the, the you know the co the costumes? I like to wear skirts. <laughs> I ran into a bat. Batman, tell me, uh, what are you doing here today? I'm Batman. So, what's your favorite thing about Comic Con? That's not fair. Oh, Every that's not fair. Everything, everything about right. Comic Con. <laughs> and Legos are just Legos. I mean, where where do you maybe see Legos in five years? Doing any changing, or you think they're a stable enough product? Oh, I mean, I think they're stable. I mean, look at me. You know, if a 21 year old yeah, can do this yeah. in his free time with Legos, <laughs> I don't foresee them having any issues with coming up with new stuff in the future. Alright, 
I'm here with Linda at Comic-Con in the beautiful costume. Can you tell us about it? It's steampunk. Technically, steampunk is when you, um, if electricity was never found. You know, things were, everything runs on steam. Think Jules Verne or the old Wild Wild West show or something like that. That's, that's steampunk. Hey, I'm here with Dan and he is a, uh, an artist for the Archie Comics. Uh, why don't you tell us how that all began? I mean, that's amazing. Uh, well, I grew up as an Archie fan. And then I went to art school and always wanted to get into comic books. So they were scouting out talent when I was going to art school. They, they came, they looked at my portfolio. I did some Archie samples for them. And the rest was history. I just started working for them right after I graduated. And I've been there ever since, 26 years. OK, I don't think it's normally quite that easy. I mean, <laughs> it really isn't. I, I, I was very lucky. I was very fortunate. <laughs> Do you have any tips for um, anybody today that would want to do what you do? I mean, other than, you know, you kind of fell into it, but today there's probably a little bit more competition. Uh, it, it's it's a tough tough business to break into, but just keep practicing and keep up, the, you know, just keep drawing all the time. I'm here with Halo, Promethean Knight. Hey, how are you liking Comic-Con? All right, well, there you have it. Uh, guess not so much. <laughs>